What's up guys, Jordan here, RK Tunes. We're at Drift Week, day one. Uh, this is Willow Springs, I guess it's called Horse Thief Mile. I've seen videos of this place on the internet multiple times and I've always wanted to drive it back when I couldn't even drive, like couldn't even try doing this. And I always looked at it, I was like, that looks like such an amazing time. The pictures you get and everything just look, look amazing. So, you got Duarte out here, his F80, my F80 behind him. You got my cool looking ESR center locks on, which I'm gonna take off because I already lost one or two, I guess, so far. So I'm gonna go drive a little bit, feel all the track, and then we'll get the right tires put on, do some laps, and hopefully by the end of the day, get some cool side-by-side -side with a GoPro with Duarte. But I'm gonna go drive, I'm pretty hyped. Bunch of people out here, should be a good time. I'm, I'm like ready, so ready. Also not ready, so let's see. Checked all the cylinders, checked for spark. But we didn't check for spark, we swapped the coil, swapped the plug, still had a misfire. Swapped the injector, because I have spare injectors. They like can, they do go bad. We had stock car the other day in my shop go bad. Checked it all out, pretty much swapped the new injector in, still have a misfire. Cylinder one's down on compression significantly. So we just don't know if, um, it, like broke a piston, melted a piston, but something bad happened. And I know probably people are gonna say, well, what causes that? Could be injector failure. The thing is, if it was like detonating real bad, you'd see the other spark plugs look like super speckly and they look normal. So injectors do fail, but the only way to know if the injector failed is by mailing it out to a company that does direct injector testing. There's one in Jersey. So like, yeah, you can take the injector, mail it out, get it tested, but that's not a today answer. So right now we're just trying to adjust, like see what our options are. We're just, they're just looking at it. We just pulled the valve cover off to make sure another rocker's popped off, which can happen. That did not happen. So now we're gonna get a bore scope, look in, see if the bore's okay. If the bore's okay, see how everyone's feeling. Do a pop and swap, one piston, head gasket, head bolts, some work, some hours, and then get him back on the road. If that's not the case, then he has to see if he wants to put a motor. Like if the bore's messed up, you need a motor, which is never fun. Neither of these options are fun. Quite horrible. So that's where we're at right now. Where are you still looking pro? Pro mechanic today. Jordan. What? Jordan's playing mechanic and playing. It really feels today. like you have not gone home. What? Since I saw you guys last? Yeah, it hasn't you have Dude, haven't imagine gone home. I would have hit up SEMA, it would have been a wrap. My dog would have probably forgot who I was. <laughs> oh, we still have the tension in the side of the block. Is it giving you flashbacks? So like two weeks ago? No. no time. Undoing timing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sick deal. Yeah. Is it lines? You already need the lines off. Break them off 17, right? What is it? Two hard lines.
had to go straight up to Good. get it over the timing chain. Bro, we're out. You guys got it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You got it? We're fine. Yeah. Good, right here. Put it top of this. No, no. Look, we have a whole table. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That looks good. Oh, the washer. Fine. Fine. That looks good. Move it over. You want to put it back flat? Like where there's no washers? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. It looks good. Even there's cracks. Don't look. Oh, bro. The valve's open. Did you money shift it? The valve's back. Did you money shift it? Valve's back. Unless there's tension on those things holding them over, over ever so slightly. Oh, yeah, it could be, it could be, it could be. Yeah, because the exhaust valves are open. But if you look, because these have, these, no. this is below the surface flush, and this is up. So that's up right now. Look at it, it looks uneven. No, because look, this, there's a lip right here. This is sticking out past oh, the Oh, so it could be straight. It's just, yeah, it's yeah. just Day two, Willow Springs. Duarte's car we sort of gave up on yesterday. We overnight a bunch part from New York. I'm talking one rod, sorry, one rod, one piston, head gas, everything. It did not make it today, unfortunately. So we're, we're gonna have to say it picked up on Monday. Chris is taking the one piston out. Cash is gonna help us come through and put it back together. I really wanna be a part of it and help put it back together for them. But time frame wise, we're gonna head out to Honda Muscle Man after this. So I'm not gonna be able to help put it together, but it will be at the track in a few days. So that was that last night. Sort of hectic tearing apart. Happy it's easily fixable. We're gonna put a full set of injectors in that. And I also got a full set of injectors for me. But I don't really, really wanna have a problem anymore. Uh, not that I do. I just don't wanna be in his situation and they do fail. I bought some spares, but not six of them. So we're getting six injectors. I'm gonna go out and drive. We're gonna do some laps with Savio and his Corvette. And then we'll be back here in a few minutes. So we, Joel wanted to go drive my car. I let him take a few laps. He was doing better and better. Started to get a little bit spicy with the clutch kicks and clutch kicked third gear into infinity. So the car is broken and he's a new transmission. Uh, I don't know what's wor what's hurting worse, the car or Joel's feelings right now. Bro, I just feel honestly super bad. He's, he like, feels I don't, so I don't bad. Care. I don't care he's about like, the bro, I don't care about whatever anything. you need. I broke his car. It was unbreakable. He's got in all the seat time and I'm just, I'm heartbroken. Every, so the we gotta fix it like right now. I want him to it. keep driving. We're gonna fix it right now. I found a transmission. Sent someone to go get it. I'll throw in a little bit of footage of him driving the from his GoPro the wrong direction, sorry. Yeah, I was trying to get it for stories and stuff since, but you know, But this is what we got. We probably have actually a brake on the thing. Yeah. 
And I, every clutch kick in my head, I'm like, ooh, that was violent. Ooh, that was violent. So we're gonna change out the clutch lay valve to the softest one. So the clutch kicks are way softer on the drivetrain. It's not the power, it's just the shock. Yeah. That it's breaks just, it's everything. Funny. You were telling me last night, like, oh yeah. Uh, last like, night I was no, like, like I wanna change it. He's it's like, dude, fine. it fucking hits. But the problem is it hits. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, we're waiting for it. We're gonna probably see if we find a shop. There's a shop a few minutes away to drop the transmission. If not, we'll just do it here on the floor. On the floor. We are back at Castro's shop. We got a new transmission delivered. Actually, we found somebody at the track that lived near the place they had the transmission stop. It was sort of crappy because the transmission, the junkyard pretty much told us it's cash or check only. And we had to be there in about an hour and it was not possible. So we found someone, sent them that someone that, we found someone that was within an hour away that had $2,000 cash in hand that was willing to go get it, which is pretty good. We tried a few people. Got the transmission, got the cash rose. Duarte's here because his motor in his F80 is cooked. So it looks like multiple pistons are broken in that car, which is beyond horrible. The car, I guess we talked about before, car was driving. The only codes he had when he came back in really were charge air temperature codes more than anything else because I guess it was air in the system. It had charge air codes um, like dry running codes. So, I mean, it's definitely possible the air temp went through the roof without air. Or there, or there's an air bubble in the cooling system. It's definitely possible that the air temp just goes through the roof because it's not like a front mount or cool that's crappy. It'll still cool. If there's no liquid moving in the front mount, it's going to go 150, 180 degrees. I've seen on the dyno before, hits back to back. It'll start at 70, 80 degrees, and I'm at 140, 150. We actually had a car even here a few years ago. A uh, guy, Cody's car. And Chris, remember that Cody's car? It was hot out that day, but I mean, air temp's 140, 150 with just a few hits. So his car's messed up. So we're working on getting pistons. We got a block motor that Gintani had, and he just said, take it. If you can use it, use it. Unfortunately, we can't. I guess it was sitting outside because he didn't really care that much about it. And there was just a ton of water in there and it's a little messed up. So they might pull pistons out and use those pistons with fresh rings uh, just to have like a, a nicer motor. It just sucks we're not in New York. I've called every place I think I could think of in the Los Angeles area, California area, every big BMW shop. And absolutely nobody has any stock pistons, Ford pistons. Um, Steven from Euroclass actually has B58 and N54 pistons, but no N55 slash S55. I think the N54 will work, but to drive like an hour or two to San Diego, right, an hour, half, two hours to San Diego, to get pistons just to try it, see if it'll work, is a huge amount of time being used. And even then, you really need like spec sheets on both pistons to compare to see what the differences are. You don't want to put it in and lose. Um, compression by much or gain too much or have it above the deck and smash valves so i don't think that's the best time frame solution for him i think he's this thing's gonna go together and then maybe i'll work something out with him and just get him like a built motor and swap it out or something if we do something like sketchy last minute it's one thing to use it for an event or two or a week it's another thing to like expect it to last fifty thousand miles so He's working on that, but we're at Castro's. We, we got my car on one lift, Duarte's on the other. Tons of sadness, though, to be honest with you guys. We got, we pulled up in like the coolest, nicest, newest cars, I think. And they're both broke right now on literally after day two of drift week. So my transmission, we pretty much already threw in. We got the old one on the floor. Third gear was completely gone. Uh, the other gears would work, but it sounded horrible. So we didn't drive here. Duarte came back an hour plus, got it, towed us back here. While we're in here, we're changing out the clutch lay valve to the softest one, and we're gonna try that one. So this way when we clutch kick, it's not as harsh on the drivetrain. For a spec clutch, it used to be super soft. With the Clutch Master's clutch, it's super aggressive. The difference is though, this clutch should last a long time. The spec clutch was garbage. I, I did not have good luck with it. I had a bunch of problems with it. Their support was really, really rude in helping me with it which is whatever, but Chris is just buttoning up. What are you buttoning up, Chris? Ground strap and exhaust. Ground strap and exhaust. This trans looks super clean. I was like, wow, this transmission is so nice and everyone really grows to me. They're like, it's nice 
because they power washed it before <laughs> selling it to you. So literally, I thought I got this really nice thing, and everyone's like, you idiot. I would love to sell you something. I'm just gonna power wash it first. So, yeah, whatever. But yeah, trans is in. Guibo look fine, which is cool that the Guibo like works and lasts, I guess, during this drifting stuff. But we also double checked everything in the rear. Oh, dude, guys. We put the car in the air, and every time the car's in the air, I always check for play on the, on the wheels. Because all these high and stuff wear out pretty quickly. I tried to get Moog brand um, inner tie rods or a good brand inner tie rod. Here, Chris, I'll hold that with one hand. You, you spin the wheel. Here, hold on. Can you do it? Let me see how good this Here, looks. Hold that. Let me hold it. You got it. Yeah, I can now hold it. So that inner tie rod is completely busted. We're going to take it off and swap it out. It won't be perfectly aligned. We'll have to do a uh, string alignment, as you call it, or uh, tape measure alignment tomorrow morning just to get it close before our drive to Arizona. So we're gonna get this buttoned up tonight and be able to drive it back to the sick Airbnb that we're at with all the Drift HQ people. And then for their F80, sort of sucks. I wanna be here and help them with everything as much as possible, but it seems like they're gonna have to do whatever they can do and then like get the pistons in, get the head on, torque and all that, get the turbos on, and then probably have the guys from Castro time it for them and then they'll probably do everything else because um, Chris is more than capable. So if he doesn't know the OEM steps of timing it, it's almost just faster to just do it for him right now versus having him try to learn, as crappy as that might sound. So, but yeah, I wish there was a shop out here in Cali that really had all the stuff. Like in my shop, I have three spare cylinder heads, machine ready to go. I have multiple bottom ends that are, I have one or two stock bottom ends and then no built bottom ends in stock right now, but sometimes we do depending on the, how fast we make them compared to how fast people really, really need them. But everywhere I called, everyone's had junk. Like lots of just blown up, broken junk out here. So that is what it is, but we're getting it together. And I hope Duarte gets stuff back together, gets his car done, gets it running, so we can drive some more. So Chris is probably excited to go home because we're here until six in the morning. I'm excited to get out of here because I'm pretty tired. Every day I feel like I've yet to have a good chance to catch up on sleep. So I'm gonna drive back to where the, oh, my hat. Oh, bad throw. No, oh no, God. my carbon. That carbon wrap. Whatever. Hey, that carbon fiber is real, guy. So, I'm done. This is it. I'm gonna get hit the road, head back to the Airbnb that we have, and then tomorrow we're gonna drive to Arizona. It's, I think, eight or eight and a half hours if there's no traffic. With traffic, is gonna be, not even traffic, just stopping, gas, food, bathroom. I'm guessing probably a 10 hour drive. That's how all my drives go at best. And you always add an hour on, it's quite horrible. But hope you guys enjoy watching this. Next up after this will be Honda Muscleman Circuit. We're gonna do two days there. Duarte is gonna get, sit that one out and try to get back to the next event in another four days from now, five days. So hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed watching. Stay tuned.